Hello explorers, welcome back to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Today I am setting myself a challenge and that challenge is to only survive on 20 ringgits which is about £3.80, about 5 US dollars for the full day. That's breakfast, lunch and dinner and getting around the city. Literally 20 ringgits. Let's see if I succeed or not. Now one of the many good things about Kuala Lumpur is that there are lots of things to do for free. So this area here is the River of Life. Those of you that are local will already know this, but for the tourists visiting for the first time, definitely recommend a wander around here. It's at least a good half a day with a heritage walk as well. So if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle, I highly recommend coming here and obviously you can walk around for free. It doesn't cost you a penny or a cent. So yes, I definitely recommend a walk around here. As you can see, it's fairly quiet during the week. Obviously the weekend is a little bit busier. And I think we'll head this way. You can see the KL Tower there. The weather in Kuala Lumpur can change so quickly. When I started this video, it was very overcast. But now it's getting sunny and the sun is burning those clouds. So yes, the River of Life, definitely recommend it to add it to your list of places to check out. It's really nice here. I, I love coming for a walk around here. I don't know about you, but my stomach is grumbling. Now obviously it is a tropical climate, so what I recommend that you do when you come to Kuala Lumpur is make sure that you have an umbrella and a raincoat because the weather can change at any time. And also have a cloth or an extra t-shirt to wipe off the sweat because it gets high humidity and if you sweat a lot, yeah, it's going to get a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, just a nice shaded area. Just what I needed under all these trees. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge today because I can't go to western places like Starbucks because it's 15 ringgits just for a coffee alone. So it's just going to be local places away from the tourist areas. That's the plan for today. So I think this challenge might be a bit more difficult than I thought. I've gone with the garlic naan uh, with cheese at 4 ringgits 50 cents uh, because I've eaten a lot of roti canai so I wanted to change and I've gone with a tetaric at one ringgits 70 cents. I'll put the British and American prices on the screen, but this is the menu for the uh, Nasi Kandar corner. So breakfast is served. As you can see, I've got the cheese and garlic naan and a tetaric with some sauces with the naan and it smells absolutely delicious. Unfortunately, we won't be going to the KL Tower today because, well, that's well out of our budget. Okay, breakfast was a little bit more expensive than I was looking to pay. It was cheap, you know, for Western standards, but for my budget and the challenge, hmm. It's such an interesting place to walk around. Maybe I'll do a video just on this location alone and some of the food places. If you'd like me to do that, let me know. See this kind of street food here, you're looking at eight or nine ringgits. So we're in the LRT station now, I'm just gonna get a ticket. So we've got my token. Like I say, it's really cheap to get around Kuala Lumpur. Normally I think the most I've paid is around three ringgits, 50 cents, something like that. Time for the train. Here it comes. Next stop, KL Central. See that the weather is changing, sun is coming out. Down in the comments, let's guess where I am heading to. Yeah, I wonder if anybody will get that right. Down in the comments. Oh, that's good, it's all been paved over. They were doing this the last time I came to Kuala Lumpur. Anybody know where I am yet? Yes, well done if you guess the botanical gardens and you are correct. As you can see, it's beautiful. This is the lake in the middle of the gardens this space is just absolutely huge you could quite easily spend three or four hours walking around now i'm a little bit concerned about how much breakfast cost me 
I was only really expecting breakfast to cost me maybe three or four ringgits but it cost me double than that because I went for the naan rather than going for the roti canai which was definitely my mistake yeah so we've got around 11 ringgits left with the train fare and I was going to go and get some water soon so uh, not too sure if I'm going to be able to meet my challenge today and if you like a bit of peace and quiet away from the hustle and bustle like the city of life this is definitely a place to come to the botanical gardens love the sound of running water and the birds chirping I love coming for walks like this, it's so relaxing as you can see there's just literally nobody around all of this is free don't pay a penny to walk around here and yeah lots of these little shelters where you can get away from the sun and also if it's raining you can sit down and wait until it stops I think it's time for a drink and a bit of a chill obviously my budget for today doesn't include the accommodation but the cost of living here in Kuala Lumpur is about on comparison with Eastern Europe maybe a little bit cheaper really can't believe how quiet it is today it's incredible I feel like I've got the place to myself so yes just this left 11 ringgits and a few coins I'm gonna have a, another walk around for a couple of minutes and then we shall head and go and get some lunch I've said it before and I'll say it again I love the sound of water See what I mean about the spare t-shirt? Wipes off all that sweat. Before I forget, there's actually a free bus that runs around the city and they've extended the routes now. It's a pink bus, you'll see on the front saying Go KL and it's literally free so if you don't want to pay for public transport you can get around so easily in Kuala Lumpur. Obviously the downside cars always come when I'm filming and the downside is that it does take a lot longer to get around because obviously you're on the roads and there's a lot of traffic around there just like there is in all Southeast Asian cities so as you can see there that's KL Central and it's only five or ten minutes walk from there to here so it's not far at all man that cold breeze is just what I needed it's hot hot and humid time to go to the metro this is going to cost us one ringgit 60 cents so right now we're near the Chinatown area we thought we'd wander around here to see what food mm, smells good and I can't eat another nasi lemak I've actually got a nasi lemak video coming up so watch this space so right now we're just walking between Pasasene and Chinatown seems to be lots of food places down here it's uh, all air conditioned fish head Ooh, never had a fish head before I'm not a big fish eater I see them preparing all the food there all the chefs I don't know how they work in this heat so right now we're in the little Chinese well not little it's quite a big Chinese market as you can see it's pretty busy see all of the chestnuts are being grounded up I would say that the best time to come here is at night time but again it's free you can just wander around just politely decline if anybody's pestering you for buying stuff famous Kim soya bean normally there's queues here not sure what is for sale here but this lady's here literally every day and then down here we've got mangoes and apples and oranges and all sorts of fruits so these look like pieces of cake or not too sure it smells absolutely amazing I think the only issue with coming to Chinatown is the prices are a little bit more expensive because it's more touristy Loving the street heart here It's a fish shop that's next to me Unfortunately it's not fish and chips <laughs> So this is lunch Got pork noodles with a soup and a Chinese tea Trouble is I'm not too sure how much it cost me I think it was about 7 ringgits but I'll find out when I pay it So this is where I've just eaten and a little side alley it was very good it cost me seven ringgits fifty cents all queuing up for looks like it's a juice drink 
not to show it's cold. Air matter cooking, kitchen. It's started raining. Yeah. I can tell it's about to start raining. All of the market store holders are extending the roofs. It's normally around this time of the day. It's around, I think, about quarter to three. And it's absolutely peeing it down now. And when it rains here in Malaysia, it rains. Good timing though, I found some shelter. You can always tell when it's going to start. Still raining, but not too bad. Don't mind walking in it when it's not as wet as this. Okay, I've done my calculations and I've got three ringgits 20 cents left. And that is for my dinner. Not too sure what I'm going to be able to get with that. Probably go to a convenience store and have a look around and see what I can buy. But I think I've passed. We'll see. Okay, I have actually failed today's challenge because I couldn't find anything substantial to eat and also a drink for three ringgits and 20 cents. I've got a lemon tea and some Thai green curry origuri, I can't pronounce it, this. And uh, that was more than three ringgits 20 cents. This actually came to uh, six ringgits and 50 cents. So I'm over by around three ringgits. So it means that I'm going to have to do this challenge again. And I'm gonna put this over to you. Where would you recommend that I go for breakfast, lunch and dinner? And it's got to be within 20 ringgits, plus getting there and back. I'm in Passar Seni now, and this is where I started. It's absolutely throwing it down right now. <laughs> so I'm going to end the video here. I failed, but I think I give it a good try. I think where I failed was at breakfast. So yes, come back for another video in Kuala Lumpur very soon. I'm getting drenched. See you soon.